packaging video. Um, if you watched my last video, you saw that I got a bunch of ink in um, not too long ago. I kind of tilt this a little bit. Make it a little more comfortable, sorry. My setup has, it's the same, but it's different. It's the same for you, but it's, it's different. Um, but yeah, so I got some ink in and um, wanted to kind of um, swatch it because I didn't swatch in the last video and everybody um, was looking forward to the swatches. So the first one that I'm gonna swatch is probably the one I'm most excited about. Um, aside, well, I mean, I'm excited about everything, but um, this is the Twisby, um, the 70 mil bottle, it's the Twisby Midnight Blue. Now, I have already played with this ink. <laughs> I recorded the video and immediately threw it in a pen um, to see how I would like it. Now, this is not any special paper, it's just copy paper, but um, if I write here, can you see? I love it. I love it. It is, in my estimation, the blue, but it's black. I mean the black, but it's blue. <laughs> it's the closest that I have, it's the closest that it could be. Um, I haven't worked with the blue black very much, but um, yeah, I freaking, I love this. I love it so much. It's a broad nib like my Twizzy Rolls Gold, which has the Twizzy Black in it. Um, there will be a little video later. I'm gonna kind of like go through the like the big Twizzy inks and just kind of like do a comparison. Um, and that way they're kind of in the video and see if this one sticks. I haven't had any problems, but it's still kind of a fresh fill. So um, I'm not sure if that is a problem, is, is an issue. Also, when I tried the Twizzy Black in my Eco, I didn't have the same kind of problems that I had in the 580. So um, I'm almost done with the fill on this. I mean, you can't tell. I'm almost done with the fill on this pen, so I think I might um, clean it out real soon and then try this ink in there to see if it's like the same sort of thing. Um, uh, the Twizzy Blue, the Twizzy Midnight Blue, if you have Twizzy Black, it kind of smells a little bit. Um, the Twizzy Midnight Blue does smell like the Twizzy Black, so, um, and actually because I have this already inked, I'm just going to write it on here with the pen. So I think that they are similar. I am in love. I can just tell you that I am in love and I got this from Pen Chalet and I have a bottle. I haven't been doing that consistently on my things, but we're going to do it today. Um, I, I love it. I love it. It's exactly what I wanted. Um, as, I mean, as far as I can put into an ink, it's, it's, yes, I am pleased. I am very happy with my life choices. It's really saturated like the black is, and it's just gorgeous. Oh, it's just gorgeous. It lays down really nicely, and I, it's inky, like the black is inky, and I am just extremely happy. <laughs> like, I'm partially sad that I waited so long to get it. Well, I mean, not so long, but I'm, yeah. But I'm glad that I have it now, so, yes. So, Twisby Midnight Blue. Okay, I'm done now. Just kidding, I'm not done now. Um, but there's that. I can tell you that there will be some sheen. I don't think it's like super heavy sheen, but there will be a little bit of sheen. Kind of like the Twizzy Black has black sheen. This has um, some red sheen because it's blue. So um, yeah. So not really like a first impression swatch this time, but you know, still awesome. So next up, I'm gonna do the bottles of Orochizuku because that's what I got with this order from, uh, the, these were from Pen Chalet. And so I'm gonna do uh, Kosu Mosu, Palette Roshizuku Kosu Mosu. Can you just look at how pretty this bottle is? Like it's, the Roshizuku bottles are probably my favorite like a pretty bottle. I mean, the Ackerman bottles are amaze balls, yes, but like just to like set, like if I ever empty one of these bottles, I will like, Yes, I. you can put water in it and stick flowers in it. Like you could use it as artwork or a vase or something. Like it's beautiful, I love it. 
so this is um, their palest paint color, and I have used samples of it. I don't think it's like actually pale, but um, Pen Jolet. I forgot I hate this pen. So I did um, get, I did order um, replacement nibs for my other, my Moon Man Mini glass dip pen. Um, they're supposed to be here like in July, so <laughs> we'll see. Um, until then, we have this one. Yeah, buddy, that's right. I know. Oh, I do not have my, I don't have my little towel here. Let me grab a paper towel. Because my setup is like slightly changed. So what happened was I've been working from home for like two and a half months at this point. And um, my roommate decided that I needed a desk, except I didn't want a desk. The table works fine. So I um, moved the, so the desk was here and then I moved it. And yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> so I'm back on the table. I was on the desk for like half a day and I really didn't like it. It was a little, it was too small for what I'm like used to working on and I just, yeah, it's a thing. So, um, I know buddy, it is. So, so I love these two together. Ugh. So it's their lightest pink. Um, the other ones are a little more pinky red. Do I have, oh, do I have? I have my swatches. I have my bottle swatches right here to compare. Not on purpose to compare, they just happen to be sitting here. Oh, pilot. I need to redo these cards. These are ones that I haven't like fixed fixed yet. And then Okay, well here it is next to Momiji. Apparently I never did a card for Susuji, so I need to redo that too. I'm not gonna do that now, but it's pretty. It's a really pretty like light pink. Let's see. Here's how it, it's kind of close to gourmet pens pink a little bit. It's lighter, but that's how it compares to gourmet pens pink, which is my favorite pink. This is just a little more delicate and dainty. But I thought I had a bottle and I didn't, so I got one. And um, all right, next up we have. I'm gonna do um, Pilot Orochizuku Yamaguri. This is my favorite brown ink. And oh, I need to get I need to get my pen from this watch. Somebody commented about if it's deep and dark. <laughs> so we're gonna look. No, that's my ink flakes. Where are my pen friends? Under here. So we're gonna compare it. We're gonna see which is deeper and darker. Oroshizuku Yamaguri or Diamine Deeper Brown. Yeah, I know, buddy. It's exciting. Let me make sure you can still see that. Like, am I, in, am I doing things? Okay. I think my frame is basically the sheet of paper, so I think if I'm in the sheet of paper, I'm fine. But I'm not used to working like this. I'm used to having my janky, my janky uh, washi tape guides that aren't very good. <laughs> so I got this from Pen Chalet. This um, ink is it's brown, but it's so dark, it's almost black. And I really love putting it in my, um, my Vanishing Point Rod and Galaxy. Something about just like this dark brown ink coming out of that gorgeous pen um, cracks me up. So I use it in there quite often. 
Um, I'm sorry if it's a little darker than usual. I'm sitting in an office chair instead of like the dining table chair, so some of the light's getting blocked out. I know, buddy. Hang on, my brushes are already too dirty. I'm gonna have to go clean them out. One second. Okay, sorry about that. And back with clean brushes. And we can go ahead and take this off again. this dry a little bit and then I'm going to show it to you next to um, Diamine Deep Dark Brown and you can be the judge of whether or not it's deep and dark and brown. <laughs> and then um, next up the Aroshizuku Takesumi. I have used this ink in sample form um, in a couple different pens. The bottle, beautiful. This is their black. I guess that they call it, was it bamboo charcoal? So it's their version of black, but I don't think it's like completely black black. But it's lovely. And you can never have too many Roshizuku inks. It is basically black, but it's not like the blackest black. Ever. But it's very nice. I love it. Love it. I would say that it's up there with Twisby Black for me, except it's not as, um, it's different. Like, I feel like, I don't know. I mean, I haven't used it in my Twisby yet, which is the only pen I've really had the Twisby Black in. Well, that's not true. I had it in an Eco. Um, but yeah, I've only ever used Twisby Black in a Twisby pen, and I've never used Takesume. I think I used it in a safari or something. Okay. It's like super dark gray, at least in this little bit here. But it's really nice. It's a really nice black. Black or dark gray off black. I don't think it's quite off black, but anyway, it's beautiful is all I'm saying. So that's that. Okay, one question. Where do you guys fall on the little um, Aroshizuku scarf? Do you leave it on or do you take it off? Like I leave it on, but I feel like it gets in the way, but then I feel like it would just not be an Aroshizuku bottle if it didn't have it. So that's why I leave it on. But really, like, what purpose does it serve? It's not like the ink gets cold. And if it does, that, that scarf is not gonna keep it warm. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a dorky, dor that's a dorky joke. But yes, very nice, very, very nice. That is a cat hair, I believe. Awesome. Okie dokie, up next. I have one more, we'll have a couple samples. And one more bottle of um, a store ink and then I have all my presents from Miss Turtle to swatch. So, let me get all the stuff out of the box that I've had set aside. finish up my pen chalet with um, this um, Aroshizuku Shin Ryoku. I'm sure that I'm saying that wrong, but that's what it is. 
it looked like it was a pretty green, but not like the yellow. Oh, sorry, I don't have my little vial holder here, so I'm gonna set that off to the side so you can't see it. Sorry, sorry, everybody. I had to move some things around. Oh, that's a pretty green because I moved some things around. I don't have everything where it was before. This is. pretty light green, green, not light green, but like green. It's like kind of, I'd say it's more of a bluey green than a yellow green, but um, yeah, it's really pretty. It's almost kind of Christmas green to me. And it comes pre-labeled with the sticker. Next up is my um, Van Ness order, which, oh, is sealed. I wonder if it's sealed like it's gray, so it's gray. I opened it the other day, so I wonder if that's a gray sticker because it's gray, and if it's like the purple, it's purple, and if it's turquoise, it's turquoise. Um, this is, uh, we need to freshly open this. I should have opened it beforehand. I feel kind of bad like opening this bottle, but Ink is here to be used, so I'm just going to crack it open. Special edition. I feel like I should keep this. Maybe I'll stick it in my journal. And it comes with a little topper, which is great. don't probably need to do a card for this because I have one already but I'm gonna it's a bottle so I'm gonna do it anyway like make a sample before I just dip the brush in the bottle but that's not what I've been doing that's what I should be doing but it's not good ink maintenance a little fiber on here that I'm trying to pull off Gray. I'm not even going to try to get that stopper in. Can I get that stopper in? Can you put the stopper back in once you take it out? Oh, you can. Sweet. It makes sense that these come in these bottles because their normal bottles come with it too. Shit. Never mind. Don't put it back. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, yeah, don't put it back unless you make sure you seal it properly 
we're just gonna we're just gonna set this off to the side i have so much ink sitting right here like what the heck what is wrong with me okay i'm gonna move that over here okay and then i have um twisby red and um colorverse office blue black that were um from that um, same Van S order. I guess I don't need the office blue black because now I have Twisby black, but or Twisby midnight blue, but we're gonna try it out anyway. Cause I love a good blue black. Sorry, I hope you can't see that. I'm not trying to make you guys go crazy. I just don't want to hurt hunt for my, um, did I put pen? Oh no, I did put Van S, okay. I just don't want to have to hunt for my um, thingamabob. Either my rice jar or the little kitty. This is kind of, it was like planned, but also impromptu. Lock this. I'm gonna leave it because no longer working, so I could lock my computer. That probably changed the lighting significantly. Sorry about that. So how are you guys doing? How's the weather? Like I know some people are getting like storms, and there was like a tropical storm, or like I, I don't think it would reach hurricane, but. It's, like people are like having weather. Are you guys affected by any of that? Like, are you guys okay? Like we're having a heat wave, but it sounds like everybody else is like having all kinds of bad weather. So I hope that you are doing good wherever you are. Um, also, if you're waiting for mail from me, cause I promised a bunch of people some stuff. I am, oh, that's pretty. I am working on it. I just have not been, I've been working on a different project and it's taken uh, more of my time than expected. And so, I mean, not really more of my time than expected, but I have had to work on it a little longer than anticipated. And um, yeah, and then yeah, work and stuff. So uh, if you're waiting on something from me, I know that I promised a few people some things. Um, I am working on it have some pen parcels to send out um well put together and then send out so um yeah um very nice that's a pretty blue black it's standard blue black i guess and then twisby red which i originally didn't get when all the twisby the twisby like 70 mils came out because i was like i don't need a red like i'm not interested in a red but now i have sam between the samples and the bottles that i have i have everything except the red so I figured I'd get the red and then I can do a better like comprehensive video. So I don't think that this is one that I'm going to love and I seem to be correct. It's, I have other reds that I like better, but um, yeah. Now I can compare all of them and show you what they all look like. So hopefully you're interested in that kind of video. Um, that will be coming whenever I record it. <laughs> it. Might be in June, even though 30, I'm doing 30 inks in June. Um, it's kinda, it's kinda crazy around here right now. So I don't know that it would be a thing for me to do. I don't know that it would be a good idea. I mean, for me to do that right now. Um, It's a thing in my brain. So yeah, it's kind of like a thin, it's kind of a thin red. It's not thick and juicy like their um, midnight blue and like the black. It's thinner like their other colors, the blue and the um, blue black. Not my favorite, but I'm sure somebody out there will love it. This is Diatrementis Alexander Hamilton. Also, the base color is aubergine, and this is one of my absolute favorites. Like, absolute, absolute favorites. Eek. 
And this is from Miss Turtle. And it's a bottle. Thank you again for sending this to me. It's a very nice, it's very nice. It's very nice, I'm very pleased. So I think what I'm gonna do is I have been, um, I have been very generously gifted some bottles of ink. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sample vials of the ones that I haven't bought. I think I mentioned this in the video the other day. Um, I'm gonna make sample vials um, and then use those and like throw those in the box too. God, that's purple. It's so dark and so beautiful, but like it's still purple and you can like use it for works. Like, oh, I love it so much. I love it so much, thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now. Ugh, ugh. let that do its thing. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Then we have, so I've done that one already. And then we have, let me do this one. I've actually, I've already done this one, so I'm not gonna do it. This is Pen BBS Cherry. Um, I don't need to do this one, because I already got this ink in sample form from this pen friend. So doing another card is, um, Silly. Pen BBS Cherry. This is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. So I'm not gonna swatch this one because I have already swatched that one. So I don't need to do that one again. So yay! Okay. I'll put it back in the bottle just because. Just because it's here. I love, 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 piano mahogany, beautiful brown. Oh, we can compare this with the other browns. Yes. <laughs> ah, that's so pretty. So pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Look, look at that, look at that, look at that. I'm gonna put her up here because I can. Look at that, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. Thank you again, Miss Turtle. Look at it. I probably put too much on here, that's okay. I definitely put too much on here, it's fine. It's fine, it's so pretty. Okay, 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 okay. All right, now we got some samples. Okie dokie, artichokey. All right. I'm set that off the side because I'm gonna need it anyway. I'm gonna start with this one. Pelican Edelstein Amethyst, which is long discontinued, um, but she had some and um, sent some to somebody else. And I asked if she would kindly share it because I have the amethyst pen. So if I pick this one for 30 inks, 30 days, I'm sticking it in my amethyst pen. I'm just letting you know that's what's happening. Thank you for sending me the sample, Miss Turtle. I really appreciate it. I'm excited to try with its matching pen. So hopefully you can't see my pile of same. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. 
That is gorgeous. And it matches perfectly. Like, that's a great, that is a perfect color match. I don't have the pen nearby to show you. But if I pick this one. So for 30, 30 days, I have been blessed by a lot of you and am being blessed in process by many of you. So, um, yeah, so I was kind of trying to figure out what to do and um, do I throw all of the samples in? That seems the most fair way to do it, but, um, or do I just pick and choose a few from each person and then when I pick one from that person, like throw in a supplement sample, but I feel like the most fair way is to just throw everything in the box. It'll be a different box than last time, but just throw everything in together so everybody has the same chance. Um, the only people that will have like less of a chance are the people like if I have stuff that comes in during June You obviously will not have been in the box the whole time So, um, yeah, but like if you send stuff and please don't feel obligated to send stuff um, but if you do um, Yeah, it's it will be awesome And if you do like if it comes in during June, it's still getting thrown into the box I don't care if I get it on the last day um, I'll throw it in the box. So, um, or, well, I, fil I film a day ahead. So as long as I get it by the 29th, it'll go in the box. <laughs> um, that's beautiful. So pretty. Thank you so much, Turtle. I know I keep thanking her a lot, but literally she sent me these, so... It's the turtle portion of the show. It's the Pickwick turtle portion of today's episode. She's a very sweet and generous and kind human being. And if you have not watched her channel, you must pause this one and go watch her videos because they're amazing. She is amazing and I am so glad that I know her. I'm so glad that this little YouTube journey has... Um, taken us all in this direction and I've gotten to become friends with some of these awesome people that are on the internet that includes you guys like even if you're not like on YouTube if you're in my comment section like at all like yeah or even if you're just watching my videos at all like if you're here at all we are friends okay but <laughs> we are friends and I love you and thank you, like literally thank you. Everybody who watches, whether it's been like two seconds or like a whole video, um, what, it's, however long you've been here, it's five minutes the whole time. I don't think, yeah, the whole time. Like if you just found me and this is your very first video, like you are part of the family. Like <laughs> you are amazing and you have excellent taste in YouTube channels, and <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's really pretty. Ah, uh, I love it. I love it. This is a good one. But yeah, so I am overjoyed by all the love that happens in my comment sections and I've gotten some wonderful emails from people and some beautiful letters from people. Also part of that stack of stuff that I need to um, get back to people on. But um, yeah, just thank you. Just thank you for being here, like honestly. I I say honestly a lot, which makes it sound, in, ooh, look at how these look together, which makes it sound kind of insincere, but honestly, <laughs> See, I'm doing it again. I really am just floored and blown away by everybody who just even takes a moment to sit through one of my videos. Like, <laughs> whether you watch the whole thing or you fast forward parts or whatever. Like, if you were here at all, even if you click here and then click off, like, immediately, like, just, you stopped, you took the time to stop by. You decided it wasn't for you, and that's okay. I'm not for everybody. Um, but yeah, just like, you're amazing. Just know that I think that you're amazing. Sailor Epinard is an awesome, awesome, awesome green that I am super thankful to have a sample of. I have had a sample of it, I believe. Back in the day, I think I had one. And then like, you couldn't find bottles of it anywhere. I don't need a bottle of it. But, 
yeah, it's just, yeah, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful green. Um, that's right, the other brush does better, but I'm saving that one. It's just a gorgeous dark green, like it's beautiful. This would also be, like if you wanted to use it for work, like I feel like it's like dark enough that it pulls off like being professional. So if you needed to have an ink, like if you just can't deal with another blue or black ink for your work, I think that this pulls off being professional. If you didn't want a really dark purple, but you wanted a dark, like green is your jam, or you just wanted a green, you've got a green pen and you want to use it, like I think that is stunning. And you could definitely use it in professional settings. Especially like the writing. It's like, it looks green, but it's real dark, so it's not, it's not super flashy. I have no problem using flashy inks at work because the stuff that I write at work is not really anything that anybody needs to use. So, um, except for like, I have like one little aspect of my job that needs to be, but I have seen other people use like purple inks. Oh, this is a pigmented, this is like a um, pigmented, it's a Diatramentus archive black. So it's kind of like, um, she told me that she sent this to me because I liked um, carbon black. So she asked me to try it out. Gorgeous. I love using these um, dark archive inks, like, or like pigmented inks, or like these big, like permanent inks. I love using them in, for whatever reason, in my extra fine ecos. Almost every extra fine nib that I have has like a dark ink, and it's usually some sort of um, like platinum carbon black or like some version of that. I think I have documented shorts from the, um, from when I um, stamped the, uh, um, the Sheik Sparrow, I um, put the, I put that in the pen because it was clean and I wanted to try it for writing instead of splatting on leather. Um, yeah, that was such a fun project. I need to do more of those like fun projects. I can't really show like my knitting projects on here. I mean, I could show them, oh, that's really pretty. That's awesome. I could show them off, but like not until I'm done. Like I can't really just like sit and knit on camera. I mean, I guess I could, but why? <laughs> I feel as though even though I haven't like really like my channel is just my name, like I could technically just do whatever I wanted, but you guys are all here for the pens. I mean, you're here for me too. So if I did something, like some of you would probably watch it anyway. But, you know, if you didn't, if you're only here for the pens and the ink, I totally get it. Um, yeah, but then there are people that you just watch and it's like they could read the phone book to you and you would just be perfectly happy with everything. So, yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna get my little placemat here. I feel like that kind of shows things off a little better, maybe. Maybe not, maybe it's just in my head. Um, but yeah, so we can get like a, a better picture of what our inks look like. Oh God, I hope that this stuff was in frame and I didn't like totally go off frame. I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna zoom in a little cause you don't need to see my stupid tripod legs. Um, I really hope this video wasn't a waste of time. <laughs> I tried, I bet, I bet I probably moved the paper. So anyway, so all right. We have Bunga Box Mahogany Black, or Mahogany, um, Piano Mahogany. I said black because I was looking at the placement. And we have, um, since I'm doing West Turtle Inks, we have the SWS Griffin Purple. And Sailor Epinard, which I don't know if you can tell, but it has kind of like like a reddish brown sheen on it. I'm trying to, I can't see from where I am to see if you can see that, but 
it's there, it exists. And then we have, where are my other, we have Vintage Azure, which is really pretty. It has some red sheen, red, like magenta sheen. I would say magenta sheen. Boom, 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 boom. Is that all? No, that's not all. We have Diatrementis Alexander Hamilton, yay! And Pelican Edelstein Amethyst, which looks like it has a little bit of a goldy sheen on it. Very subtle, like right up here where I laid a bunch of ink down. And then we will take a look at the Orochizuku inks. Pilot Orochizuku Kosumosu. I think this, I my vents, my where my table is now is right under the vent, so I think that made all my cards curl. So Kosumosu, and then we have Takasume. I, I like the lighter bits, so I left that there. It does kind of have, like, I don't know if you can see it, um, a little bit of a red haze. And then um, Yamaguri, which I think it stands for chestnut, and it's just gorgeous. It's just beautiful. And then we have Colorverse Office Blue Black, which kind of just looks like a really dark blue at this point. So, whatever, it's fine. Twisby Red. Aurora Gray, because you can never, as I have learned, have too many grays. Pilot Orochizuku Shin, Shinryoku, Shinryoku, I guess. I'm probably butchering that, I apologize. And last, but not least, oh no, not last, but not least, we have um, Twisby Midnight Blue, which is my favorite of all my purchases, honest, like honestly, That's, I am so excited. And then um, our last Miss Turtle ink is um, our Diatrementis Document Black. It's still drying, so I'm gonna leave that off to the side and not So that's, that's all of our swatches. I'm gonna set that off to the side and I promised to show you the browns. So I'm gonna do that. And then I also had another thought while I was doing this. Oh, yeah, okay. So yeah, so thank you, Pen Chalet and Van Ness Pens. I mean, I bought these, they didn't send them to me, but um, thank you for sending these to me at my expense and thank you, Miss Turtle for sending me this lovely box of stuff for my love and enjoyment and um, our swappiness that I owe you. <laughs> I owe you some swappage. Let's see, is there anything else that I need to pull out of here? else that would go with these. I don't think so, no. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, so I wanted to kind of show you, so here are my browns. This kind of has like a, it has like, I don't know, I don't remember it being sheeny, but it kind of, it looks like it sort of has a green haze about it or something. I don't know, it's weird. Look, it looks shiny. Um, yeah, so that's Yamaguri, which is a really dark brown. This is Piano Mahogany, which you also just saw. And then this is Diamine Deep Dark Brown, which actually, like now that I'm looking at this card, especially this section here, looks deep and dark. The borders just look brown to me, but yeah. I don't know, I don't know how, see, this looks green in the camera, but whatever, I love it, I love it. I love all of these because these two are from Pen Friends and because I love this brown. So, um, also, I just thought that'd be fun to show you Sailor up in our next to it. Like, this looks green, green in. Can I do anything? 
with that. No, I don't think that's doing anything. Okay. But, yeah. So this looks like green green on the camera almost. Um, but yeah. So that kind of shows you it's a little more brown, I would think. I can't tell because my little camera holder is there. And then because I just have this here, here is Aurora Gray next to Color First Matter. Um, yeah, they're beautiful and I love them. And they're beautiful, whoops. And I'm glad that I have them both. I still freaking love this. And um, it's all creepy Nib's fault. I have it like in three pens. So, <laughs> so yeah, well, two pens. I have one that's cleaned out. I had it in three pens at one time. Now I just, it's just two. This seems a little more cooler to me, but they're both like really lovely grays. So yeah, so that's some comparisons for what I have. Um, yes, so I'm looking forward to doing um, 30 inks, 30 days in June. I don't know if I will have any other videos. I'm intending to have like an introduction, but you kind of already like know what's going on, I feel like. Um, but um, yeah, so yeah, if there's anything you wanna see from me though, let me know. And like I said, if you're waiting on stuff from me, it's coming eventually. I intended to do it um, this weekend and then just like was super lazy and just didn't do much of anything. So kind of riding that wave right now. It just seemed like a good time to relax for me. So that's what I'm doing. So yeah, so June is 30 inks, 30 days. I'm gonna be using all of my pen friend inks. Well, not all of them, but I'm choosing from all of the ones that you guys have generously sent me because you guys are all amazeballs. And if you haven't sent me ink, please don't feel bad about it. It's fine, you aren't required to send me ink. I still appreciate you and love you and thank you for being here. You guys are amazing. I can't, like, I just, I still, like, I'm not gonna cry, but I still do every day. I'm just like blown away from comments that you guys send and emails and conversations that I've had with people. You guys are just, you blow me away every day. Like, you can't even get over it. I can't even get over it because you guys are all just so amazing. And. I just love each and every one of you and like some of us have like really gotten in depth into conversations and friendships and even those that are like brand new acquaintances whether you're new to the channel or you're just new to talking to me like you all mean so much to me like I can't even I can't even put into eloquent words just how much you guys mean to me it's been so fun starting this whole channel and just ugh, June's gonna be like a tear fest no, it's not. I'm not going to cry every day in June. If you guys make me cry every day in June, like, that's mean. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoy these swatches. Um, I have rambled on much longer than necessary, so I'm going to, like, let you guys get back to your day. If you've watched this far, thank you so much. You are amazing. You get a gold star. And, um, yeah, if you didn't watch this far, like, if you watched any of this, thank you. <laughs> I just am blown away. Just thank you so much. Please like, comment, subscribe if you feel like it. I'm not the boss of you, but it's pretty cool if you do. Um, I would love to see you all around here. Please leave a comment if you want to. Um, I'm weird about leaving comments on a lot of videos, but I've been trying to be better a better commenter just because I'm a YouTuber now and I know how much I love interacting with everybody. So um, I know what a joy it brings me to like get those little notes and questions and just hey I love this video like it just brings me so much joy so I'm trying to like push that forward to other youtubers when I watch videos even if it's like anything like I just love I just love you guys and I love I just love you guys anyway <laughs> I said I was gonna stop rambling and I haven't stopped rambling so I'm gonna stop now for real and um, yeah, let you get back to your day. Thank you again so much for watching and being here. And if you've sent me ink, thank you. If I have purchased ink from you, thank you. Like, just thank you. Thank you for all of this. Um, you're amazing and I love you. Take care, love you, bye.